best dancers in the region and from around the world take the stage. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Kimberly Chapman. She's with Vineland Regional Dance Company. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's talk a little bit about your dance company because this is an opportunity for young people to really hone their craft, but it's an opportunity for the audience to experience some of the best dancers in the region as well. Yes, we're a nonprofit organization run by a board of directors, and we have a balance between some of the wonderful high school students as well as alumni that come back to put on a production every year in the spring. Let's focus on that production because this is a chance for these young people to be ranked nationally, but the audience gets to enjoy the performance as well. Talk to us about the idea of the ranking and what that means for these performers. Well, the Vinyl Regional Dance Company is a member of Regional Dance America, and every year we uh, are a member of an organization within five regions, and one person goes around and ranks these companies throughout the Northeastern United States, and we've been fortunate to be in the top five for our existence since 1979. This year, Paula Weber is the adjudicator, and that one person sits in the audience and then will judge us, kind of like gold, silver, bronze, and we want to certainly win the gold this year. And you've done very well in past years. Definitely have. All right, you've been ranked uh, top in the U.S. within uh, the top five within the United States within this competition in the past. This is the 34th annual spring concert. This year sees the dance. It's Sunday, March the 10th at 2 p.m. Let's talk a little bit about what is actually included because we will see really the best dancers in the region, but you're bringing back some alum as well. Yes, and it's a nice journey that the audience can go on because we're not only just doing one style of dance, we're doing contemporary dance, ballet dance, Dance. We're doing um, modern, you'll see um, point work, and this way everybody in the audience can go on a journey with us through one style of dance that maybe they will really enjoy. And we're also pulling from our rep that we've already had, as well as new works from choreographers all over the United States. Let's get into some of the specifics, because you mentioned choreographers coming in from all over the United States with these uh, local dancers as well, and the performers are coming in, uh, some from, from around the world as well. You have some new pieces as well as some other favorites. Uh, Sands of Time is one of the pieces. Talk to us a little bit about this, a beautiful piece. Yes, um, the choreographer is from La Diego, California, and he is actually the artistic director of La Diego Ballet, and he flies in every year to work with us, and we're so thrilled to have this piece. It's basically like movement of sand, so it's a modern contemporary piece, and you just can go on a nice journey um, as you watch it visually come alive. And that's just one of the things that we'll actually see as part of this performance. It's also uh, one of the beautiful things that we'll see, this movement. And we mentioned a lot of younger dancers, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, yes. as well as professional dancers as part of this production happening on March the 10th. In addition to Sands of Time, you have some other pieces as well, uh, a new piece, Amen. Yes, I actually choreographed that piece. Um, and it has a religious flavor, and it's to the 23rd Psalm. Um, so that piece is more um, liturgical in its nature. But at the same time, I think it'll take everybody on a nice ride through all styles of dance. In addition to that, uh, a piece choreographed to Gershwin music. Correct. So everybody will know um, it's from the Broadway show Crazy For You. And um, certainly, I'm sure everybody could actually hum it. And some other pieces as well. One person's weird is another person's world. This is a modern piece. Um, it's kind of like reading a good book. Um, you have to make up your own story for that. But um, the dancers portray a very modern, contemporary feel for it. All right, and just part of what's happening, you have solo performances, many other things happening on March the 10th at 2 p.m. Quickly, where is it being held? The Frank Warren Cheney Fine and Performing Arts Center in Cumberland County College. Thanks so much for being with us, Kim. Good to see you. Great to be here. We've been talking with Kimberly Chapman of Vineland Regional Dance Company. I'm Jill Horner.